Hello everyone and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. In the last session we were doing side quests in and around Chain Scrape here and uh, we've completed them all now and we are going to hand them in, have chats with people, see what resolutions have occurred and then it's on with the main quest I believe. So first up we have Javad the Willing. Savior. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. No, you don't think... That Alvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. Huh. It's not... this quest line isn't over? I need to go. Of course. Although, if it didn't... Hmm. Did it update me at all? Oh, it's on hold. Okay, on hold until the embassy has been completed. Interesting. That's the word I was looking for last time. Embassy. Right. Yes. Okay, so then the next one is just over here. This lovely dude. This is probably my favorite new character so far because he is just a great guy. Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. You, you got him, step mate. Two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. <laughs> Absolute got him. You asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Nailed it. Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. <laughs> You will. You definitely will. Great dude. Hey, new skill points. Very nice. Very nice. What are we going for this time? Uh, I don't really care about that. Maybe we should save up for this Valor thing. I need to start remembering to actually use it, you know. Also wouldn't hurt to get more concentration time or... Alright, that's more rare. Sustained burst and unleash unleash an entire clip of bolts while immobile. <laughs> wow, okay. Craft ammunition at the workbench using less resources than the wild. Meh. More stamina. Ultra shot. I should probably save up for this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save up for that. Whilst we're in here, let's... Uh, wait, what was the new collectible? Am I going crazy? It says collectibles, exclamation mark. And then I go into it. And there's these two. Which I've already looked at. And then there's nothing else. That's it. <laughs> so I guess that's just bugged out. Weird. Uh, Hades. Hades is a zero dawn subordinate function responsible for emergency reboots intended to purge any emerging biospheres that become non-viable. 
During the construction of Zero Dawn in 2065 and 66, Hades software was developed by Alpha Project lead Travis Tate. In an ideal world, Hades would never have activated. It was built to take over Gaia and restart the system only in the event that a partially reconst reconstituted biosphere became unstable. Approximately 20 years ago, Hades was infected by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. This signal gave it malevolent consciousness, prompting it to take over Gaia in an attempt to extinguish all life on Earth. Gaia herself, Gaia herself, Gaia destroyed herself, rather, to prevent this from happening. But not before Hades and all the other subordinate functions escaped to ancient computer systems throughout the land. Hades landed in the processing orb of an ancient and massive Horus-class Pharaoh war machine. There it was discovered by Silence, and the two struck a bargain. Hades would provide technical and historical knowledge, while Silence would provide human followers and to do Hades' bidding. This arrangement led to the formation of the Eclipse, a cult of Shadow Karja fanatics bent on reconquering their holy city of Meridian. But both Silence and the Eclipse were duped. Hades' ultimate goal was to use the Eclipse to attack Meridian so it could reach the Spire, a Zero Dawn communications array. There, it would transmit a signal that would activate dormant Faro war machines around the world, thus triggering another extinction. Aloy and her ally allies thwarted these machinations at the Battle of the Alight, where she purged Hades with a special lance given to her by a repentant Silence. Not really. Not really. Given to her so that she would use it so that he could capture Hades, and we don't know what he intends to do with it yet. <laughs> but uh, it's nice to have dreams. Right. Food provides temporary benefits and skill boots. Noldorf's meal has reduced your concentration recovery time. Bring ingredients to cooks throughout the world to purchase food. Only one food effect can be active at a time. And there it is underneath my health bar, I guess. And it overhealed me, it looks like. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so can we get out this way at all? Around here? Yeah. Uh, wait, no, that's the main quest. Wasn't there another? Wasn't there another side quest around here? Uh, can I? Am I going crazy? I could have sworn that there was another side quest to hand in, but I guess there isn't, and I'm insane. Huh? Sup, bruh? The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But... but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. See you there, man. <laughs> He's so up his own ass. <laughs> to the oh, brink, complete. Oh god, there's enough. another quest. <laughs> Embassy can finally get underway. If Did we just get, get more it, skill points? I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy a backup. Yeah. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the dance some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. Oh, that's the Petra one. It just hadn't spawned yet. Alright. I just got four more skill points. What the fuck? Oh no, it wasn't four more. It was that I had two and I decided to save them. So I got another two, but that's still a lot. But I need another four now to get the final level of this. Definitely just going to save for that now. All right. Well, uh, I'm afraid I lied. I said we'd be doing main quest today, but uh, Petra is available. <laughs> and I like Petra. So we're doing that. Uh, that's 45. That's 26. So that's just down here. Wait, is that the board game person? Oh no. Oh, it's Petra. Hi. Change your mind about Come for that beer after all, eh? Strike. Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, 
fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week. Oh, no. And Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talon. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Can do, but I fucking cry at the, the name Stormbird. <laughs> Those were my most hated things in the first game, like out of anything. I, I loved like 99% of Zero Dawn, but Stormbirds, they're the 1%. <laughs> so the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the Bristlebacks came out of Olvind's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. Interesting. So that, like, is this quest only available? Is this side quest only available if I've done that other quest? Or would that dialogue just change and we'd say we don't know how they got here? Or, hmm. What brought you here? I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Okay. Uh, Shadow Karja? What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Well, that's Don't good. They seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. Tolland Cleanbroker? Who is this Tolland Cleanbroker? Just some chuff-huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. But, well, we're gonna have to take care of him as well then. And Olvind? So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren And then he blew his fat nut all over camp. 
So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Uh, I mean, we know about the decree, but go ahead. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. Hmm. Well, we can't let that happen. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tallinn no has one a wants shop to play chain scrape. No? I could have a Anyone. word with him first. Okay, so... What's that? Oh, that's the melee pit one. Right. Talk to Tolland. Okay. Where was the other... There. Who have we got up here? I I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. Um... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Stop talking. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Uh. But you're just not. I am with a customer. I, I'm not a customer. I got it. Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. But boom One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. <laughs> you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? I'm interested. Uh, who are you two, though? Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. <laughs> Savage. Uh, your friend? So she's your partner? My apprentice. And my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Yep, well, I could I definitely do with uh, some explosives in my life. <laughs> that could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll what do you need charger horns intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Okay. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer. 
You get him for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Okay, shoot off the charger horns before uh, you kill it. And take out a fanghorn, was it? Was that what his name was? Fanghorn, I think. Uh, wait, has people moved? That's the charger one. That's the twilight one. Oh, he is there. Okay. I, I guess I missed him. Sup, dickwad? That's you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed him myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to cars of lovers. On your blasted way. Well, I'm going to take that fucking salvage, mate. You little bitch. You little bitch. Right. So. Let's go see about this fanghorn, shall we? Oh, let me out. Let me out. Oh, nice. I wasn't expecting it to actually let me out. <laughs> I guess we should try this new stuff on it. Rumor said that fanghorn should be nearby. Now, what is a fanghorn? Is that a fanghorn? Frost would do a lot of damage. It is. Strong versus fire, weak versus frost. I don't have any frost, do I? Oh, well, I have this. There's the fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. Do I want to bother taking out these guys first, I guess, is the question. Hood. How close is he going to come to over here? Wait, you saw me? Did he just see me through that rock? I swear he saw me through a rock. Fuck you. Looks like a landscape. Scary antlers. Just need the charger horns. You have unused weapon and outfit modifications. Right. How do I add those? Uh, edit weaves. Locked weave slot. Locked weave slot. Wait, I'm confused. I can't put anything in. Did it just lie to me? How dare it. Hmm, that's a better look at the ornament we got. Interesting. Oh, maybe it was talking about a weapon one. I didn't realize it was weapons too. Uh, the hunter bow. No, the coil's locked on that as well. The coil's locked on all three of them. <laughs> God damn it. I'll grab this. 
This green stuff's pretty rare, right? I should grab that. I can get it for my stash later. That guy's gonna leave us alone. Seems like it. Wait, did I not already loot this? I guess not. Alright, now let's go get the horns off the lads over this way. I need to find other animals. I've, I've killed a ton of boar, but I've hardly found any other animals. I need some raccoons for one upgrade. I need uh, something else. I can't remember what, I, what else it was now, but I, there was a few things I needed. Doo -doo. Grab some of these. I'm sure I'll need them at some point. sure you'd be able to deal with that by now. Stock up on that. Okay, now where's this charger at? Oh, this is a thing that's blocked path? A blocked path in this rock? What? It's like a cave entrance, I guess? Interesting. Huh. Wait, so... One of these chargers. Oh, no. I was, I was going to say, is it blocking me from doing the quest? But no, it's not. That'll get me into this joint, I guess. There's a ladder I can push down from the top, but I can't, like, get into it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Charger. Horns. Quest resource. Detachable. Destroyed when killed. Oof. Now, where did the horn actually fall? <laughs> I can override it? I thought you just said I'd need a cauldron to override it. I guess we kept that ability. Oh, I need three. Oh, shit. Well, then I shouldn't have just silent striped that, dude. I thought I just needed one. Everything I need for Dylan Boomer. 
Now, to say about that weapon of theirs. Cool. That worked out. Right. Uh, what, what, what next? Oh, overriding a charger is for the embassy. Oh, that was an optional thing, wasn't it? What the fuck? That must be really high up. <laughs> Let's head over there then. Wait, I should mark it. <laughs> I didn't... There we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. I guess they want me to override a charger to turn up in style to the event or some shit? Bye. Am I going the right way? Yes. Okay, if I can get up here, that's a shortcut. Ah, oh, never mind. Not gonna be shortcutting up there. Oh wait, what's? Hello, cave? I this green channel for your price. got down here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to survive if I squeeze through that crack. Shit. My breath meter's getting low. Up! Up, Aloy, up! <laughs> I don't think I'd survive. I don't want to run that risk. Alright, let's figure out how to wind our way up this mountain. Like this, for example. Dead machines. A trap. A trap. Looks like someone's been trying to keep this trail clear. Oh, hate to be in a trap like that. Who said that? Them shadow cards are taking a beating. Those people are under attack. Hey, you up there? Aren't you gonna help? No, he ain't. Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for change rate. All oh, right, let's try this. Oh shit! That was terrible. <laughs> that seems like something you have to be in stealth for it to work. frames when I'm doing that. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Yeah, I think I don't have iframes. 
when I'm doing a strike. Seems like I got hit there. I don't know if I just mistook it. Get all the things. We've got to get all the things. <laughs> 